So never find it hard to leave, let people go. It's easy to let people go because people are replaceable until you come across those treasures. When you come across those friends that are treasures, that's when you can start talking about, you know, oh, it's difficult to this, that, and third. Because when it's when you come across those treasure friends, and whether it's romantic, platonic, familial, whatever, that means that you guys share the same heart, which means that you know how to communicate, which means that if something happens that makes you uncomfortable, that's actually serious. Not, oh my God, you, you pushed me. Because that's what psychopaths do. They You like bump into them and they look at you with daggers like, and you're like, bro, I just did a normal human thing. <laughs> like what? Versus the treasures that are friends who understand that like, oh, okay, cool. My bad. Versus something serious. Like what? what's something serious that friends could go through? Like for example, something important happens in their life. Let's say an important figure in their life dies and they invite you to come with them to the funeral for emotional support. And y'all have a great friendship. It's equal give and take. It's it's conditional love, unconditional love to the max. It's beautiful. Y'all both have your own things going on. It's great. You say you're going to go. Something comes up. You don't respond to a text. Some, some anomaly happens in the friendship, okay? That friend feels a type of way. What does a healthy friend do? You know that you made a promise that you, you didn't keep. It wasn't because you couldn't keep it. You didn't keep it, okay? Give that person a little bit of space. You know your friend or maybe hit them up immediately. Who knows? I've seen a lot of people do this really wrong, but the way I'm telling you how to do it is the right way. Your friend, let them feel what they're feeling. If they're a real friend, they'll respond to you whenever they they feel comfortable responding. If they're a fake friend, they're going to come at you with all this anger and aggression and unnecessary stuff. Because at the end of the day regardless of not being able to meet the obligation, your real true gem friend knows that you would never do something like that unless it was very important to your happiness. Because that's the goal of true friendship. It's supporting each other's happinesses, even if it's something that may disappoint me along the way. I understand that it was never intentional. You call that friend, eventually you and that friend talk and yeah, you allow the friend to express what they feel. They're hurt, they're disappointed, they're this, that. You listen, you listen. You don't come defensive, you listen. Once the friend is done, it's like, okay, now you explain yourself. This is where it's healthy to explain yourself because we live in a world where people don't like explaining themselves because they always had to explain themselves to someone who wasn't worthy of their explanation because they never got it. In the first, they didn't want to get it in the first place. They just wanted to bully you and steal your thunder. But from that healthy friendship perspective, it's like, okay, cool. You know what? Something came up for my work or family wise or in my relationship or whatever, or, or some emergency happened and I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, how did the funeral go? How did whatever go? You know, how did you feel? Give that love. And this isn't that 50-50 bullshit. It's just give the love. Give it from a healthy place. Give it from a healed place for yourself. And you and your friend will be happily ever after again because there's no grudge. You apologize. You acknowledge your fault. It's not a big deal. There's no competition. That's what a friendship worthy of mending is about. Like true ride or dies has nothing to do with putting the other person in harm or danger. It means somebody that understands your value and you understand their value and you value yourself as they value themselves. That's true longevity in love. No, you should never feel bad. Like when people are bad for you, there was never any love in the first place because love is reciprocal when it comes to relationships. When I realized that the people surrounding me did not care about me, they were literally surrounding me like I was prey. Yeah, it hurt. And sometimes when I think about it, it 